Your call's an open mind Monday. I got on the president's case pretty good earlier, you know, for what seems like a lack of leadership on this whole thing with Libya. And is there a precedent, if there is, I'm not aware of it, for a president of the United States being in another hemisphere when essentially warlike activity is initiated by the United States? I don't think it's ever happened before. He's not in the Oval Office. You can't even get a comment out of him in Brazil. It's like, yeah, join a coalition over there. See if you can knock off Gaddafi. I don't know. I can't get into this. And so I get an email from Jim who says, but I'm a little concerned about your leadership in Central Florida. This is quality sarcasm. Talk radio, you find time to go dancing, play putt-putt golf, and then today, by your own admission, you're off to the beach with your wife. Where is your leadership, bud man? We need you to stay in the command center at 540 WFLA, not gallivanting all over the place. Totally busted, Jim. Totally busted the bud man. <laughs> Awesome. Okay, let's go to the phones. Unfortunately, I can't get the screen to work. Help me out, guys. The thing just blipped. Okay, here we are. Mike in Winter Garden on Libya, Open Mind Monday. Go ahead. What's your take, Mike? Yeah, I, I, I think that uh, a lot of people are missing one of the most important points. Good. That's why you're here on Open Mind Monday, to enlighten us. I don't understand that if if Qatar was allowed to carry out his threat, that Europe would be facing a, a massive refugee problem. And that's why the French and the British are so insistent on, on going in there and, and uh, bombing, because they're already facing a, a burgeoning refugee problem from, uh, from what's going on. And I think uh, Obama's basically right to play it so softly, softly. He's, he's showing his support for Europe, but he's not uh, he's trying to keep a safe distance so as not to get the American people totally involved in another war. So it's a kind of fait accompli in a way. If he does nothing, the Europeans will say, well, we were there for you and you asked us. And if he does too much, the American people will be against him. All right. Thank you, Mike. Appreciate your take on that. To Leesburg, another topic. Andy on Open Mind Monday. Good morning, Andy. Good morning, bud. Uh, I just had a, a little comment on um, the EPA's new policy on mercury that's uh, supposed to be geared towards impacting the coal mining industry. And my uh, little comment is that the new light bulbs that the Obama administration has been so prevalent about and for, um, you know, getting into every household has a mercury content that requires a hazmat team for disposal. So it's kind of a, an interesting little quandrum that the, uh, they put themselves into. You know, I don't like these light bulbs. I don't like the l quality of the light. I don't know, like the way they look. I don't like what they cost. I don't like being denied a choice to buy light bulbs that have been good enough for this country since Thomas Edison created them. I mean, for crying out loud, we ought to have a choice and let the free market determine this thing. I agree with you 100%. Yeah, I, I, and I appreciate that. By the way, I understand there's some kind of an alternative, a Sylvania bulb, you know, which which is efficient like the Obama bulb, but doesn't have the mercury in it. I was doing a little reading on that. We need to do a segment on that. But, uh, Andy, thank you. I appreciate it. That, that, that's my basic problem with all of this deal. They are forcing traditional light bulbs off the market. You go to your home improvement store right now, they're harder and harder to find. And in 2012, they're supposed to completely disappear. Do you like the quality of those squiggly lights, Jen? I don't like them. It's not a good warm light. They're ugly, no. uh -uh. and I don't think the light looks good, and I don't want to be forced to buy something I don't want to buy. It sounds a little bit too much like Obamacare. I would like to point out, though, that for all of the times that you've called me high maintenance, people would say that you might be being a tad high maintenance about this. What do you mean? What? Why? What? About what? Just about wanting to making... your light. No, I, I totally agree with you. I'm just oh. saying. Listen, the Bud Man's always been into lounge lizard lightning, lighting. <laughs> and at my age, you want the nice soft glow. Okay? You don't get this, these squiggly looking things. It looks like some kind of a critter. You feel like you're in a hospital with those lights. I don't like them. If I want to buy them, I want to buy them. If I want to buy the other stuff, I want to be able to buy the other stuff. If I want to pay a little bit more in my light bill to have the kind of light I want, I'm a free American. I am willing to make that decision. A typical Obama deal here. 
We need to get a sponsorship for you. Goodbye, free market. 852 real-time traffic and weather together on the twos. Then on the phones, it's Open Mind Monday. Let's go. First full day of spring, sunny in 83, 65 here in Orlando. You've never heard the term lounge lizard lighting, Jen? Come on, you've been never, out in the social never. circuit. You're out uh -uh. there. Nice, soft lighting in a nice lounge, nice, soft music playing on the piano. That's lounge lizard lighting. You hang out in a place like that, you are a lounge lizard. I just think of Geico. There's <laughs> nothing to do with the lizard. If you're hanging out in a lounge with soft lighting, you are a lounge lizard, and that's your lighting. And that's what you cannot get from a squiggly, mercury-infested Obama bulb. Let's go to Open Mind Monday in Satellite Beach. Here's Steve. How are you, Steve? Good. How you doing, bud? <laughs> I'm fine. Go ahead. I said a comment about the Rahm Emanuel and uh, the donation that uh, was made to him. Um, By Donald Trump, 50 grand. Yeah. And to me, it seems like it's a pretty smart, calculated move because you want to keep your friends close and your enemies even closer. And he didn't become a business tycoon by making stupid decisions. So That's another like, godfather comment before. You know, you're going to send me into Don Corleone again. you gotta keep your, you got to keep your friends close and enemy close. And Michael, it's important for you to understand us. And Santino, shut up. <laughs> It's the same thing that the government does, even with the Middle East. I think somebody had said earlier that yeah. you know we back bad people, but you know it's while we're getting something done, and as soon as they go off rogue, then we drop the axe on it and stop it. So he's supporting it while it's in his best interest, and I'm sure he'll pull the plug if it becomes not so. How do you feel about our involvement in Libya? How do you see this playing out? Uh, I don't see it uh, being a good thing. I mean, it seems like Obama campaigned on, you know, not going to war and, and talk, talk, talk uh, to the, the very end. Did you give him uh, your vote in 2008, Steve? Uh, no. Uh-huh. You did not. Now no. now he's got a third war going. Who would believe, yeah. huh? I know. Crazy. All right, Steve. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. We've been talking about light bulbs here. I don't know how all of that came up, but we go in all directions on Open Mind Monday because you decide the flow of the show. Here's Aaron weighing in on that from Orlando. Hey, Aaron, good morning. I agree. Good morning. I, I agree. I don't like the compact fluorescent. One of my friends just broke one uh, two weeks ago, and I was trying to explain to him you can't vacuum them up because it's going to throw mercury in the air. Uh, there's two alternatives that are on the market. That uh, one that's on the market right now, another one that's coming up. Uh, the one that is uh, LED. You can buy them at any of the home improvement stores right now. It costs a lot more money than the compact fluorescent, but they last four times as long and you and they are very hard to break and you they don't you don't need a hazmat team to, to clean them up what's the quality of the light is there a warmth to the light like the traditional edison incandescent bulb uh that i i don't really know it's it's led lighting you have yeah to buy one and try it out you know i have to tell you my wife and i have a debate about the quality of the light that comes out of led christmas lights i happen to like it and she does not so that's that's very much what it's uh, what it's like, except it's it's amplified. Yeah. The mm -hmm. other one that's coming up is OLED. It's organic LED lighting. You can Google it. What do they got? Fertilizer in there? What does that mean? No, but it, what what it is is uh, a screen that's come out. It's the new type of screens that they're going to make cell phones out of. Eventually, the technology is going to get better to where they're going to make t televisions out of it, and the, the, uh, they've got lamps that they make out of it now. But they cost obnoxious amounts of money. But as the manufacturing ramps up, they're going to be making light bulbs and televisions out of this. And it's a screen type of lighting. In other words, you'll be able to hang what's like a piece of plastic across your entire wall, and that will produce your light. And that is a warm type of lighting. 
and it's just like a sheet of plastic. It, if you break it, it doesn't produce mercury. So, so, so what is it? Do you, get, do you just say, honey, would you please go over and turn up the wall? How does this work? Exactly. <laughs> It's organic LED. No kidding. This is great. This is why I love Open Mind Monday, because you guys, you, you clue me into things I had no idea about. O, you o say it again. LED. I'm o into LED. it. I'm organic. all over it, Aaron. Okay, right. thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Jenna, how about that? Lounge lizard lighting the entire wall. This is great. This might be the most ridiculous conversation we've had on Open Mind Next Monday. time you're out with your guy. <laughs> Tell them you want lounge lizard lighting any way you can get Stop it. Stop it. No, no, really. I think you... <laughs> any way I can get it. <laughs> because that's what the guys want to hear. Absolutely. Honey, you know what I want? Some lounge lizard lighting. Yeah, why don't you go to... <laughs> Darling, why don't you go over there and turn down the wall just a little bit? And we'll snuggle up. Okay. <laughs> Jeff, why do look I at feel it. like I need a shower after today's show? <laughs> just off. We've had much too much fun here, and it's always great having you with us on the 50,000-watt front porch. Uh, I was about to say we're already working on tomorrow's show, but that's a lie. Lynn and I are going to the beach. <laughs> Jenna, it's your show. Dish it off to Jeff. We'll see what we come up with in the morning. <laughs> all fantasy that. baseball all the time. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Okay, listen, gang, have a wonderful day. It's the first full day of spring. You're living in heaven and earth down here in Central Florida. I hope you appreciate it as much as I do and as much as I appreciate you. From all of us here on the 50,000-watt front porch, lounge lizard lighting and all, the Bud Man thanks, God bless you, and God bless America.